All right, and welcome back to our uh, Microsoft Excel uh, virtual class. Uh, in this particular video sequence, we're going to be covering Chapter 12, which is encompassed uh, in Module 13. This chapter deals with templates, styles, and macros. Uh, so uh, when we finish through this uh, chapter, we're going to be uh, we're going to work through uh, how to use templates. Uh, we're going to know uh, how to apply various themes, backgrounds, and cell styles. Uh, we're going to create and uh, know how to create and use templates. Uh, we're also going to go through uh, protecting our worksheet, workbooks, and the contents of our uh, cells by uh, locking those uh, those entities. Uh, we're also, and finally, what we're all going to do is we're going to work through um, some macros. We're going to create, uh, figure out how to learn how to create, record, run. Uh, various macros, create a macro button, set security parameters for macros, um, and then we're going to venture into some visual basic for applications to uh, to manually create code macros. The first uh, section of, of this chapter deals with templates, themes, and styles. So a template is essentially a partially completed document. It's used as a model to create other documents uh, which have the same purpose uh, and structure. Uh, so essentially it's, uh, again, we, we used templates before, Word documents. Um, it's essentially just a, a basic look and feel of a, of a Microsoft Excel workbook um, that's already designed for you to create templates from. Microsoft Excel has a, a series of out-of-the-box preload templates that come as part of the installation. Uh, and you have the ability to kind of go out online to, to office.com and search for specific te templates that, that serve your, your uh, Excel needs and purposes. Um, so we'll look at how to go out there and search for those. Applying themes and backgrounds, we're going we're going to uh, look into customizing a theme, applying a background image, uh, which is basically just a, a an image file that's um, that appears at the, the back or in the background of the worksheet. We're also going to look at applying cell styles, and cell styles are essentially a collection of format setting based on the uh, a currently selected theme that provides consistency in the appearance within a worksheet. Um, the uh, uh, cell styles comprises of font attributes, which could be the name of the, of the font or the size, uh, borders and, and fill styles, uh, or colors, your cell alignments, either vertical and or horizontal, uh, as well as any number formatting if you're doing the currency or accounting or percentages. Uh, and if there's any decimal places that you want to specify in your cell, in your cell style, you can specify the, the, the existence of decimal places and the number of, of places beyond the decimal to include. We'll also look at some cell protection settings. Um, in addition, we'll look at uh, creation of some custom cell styles and how to modify and remove cell styles. So let's go to our Microsoft Excel workbook. If you go to the File tab um, and click on New, you'll notice that you get your new document um, back in the backstage view. It gives you the ability to go through and take a look at some of these templates that are currently uh, created within uh, Microsoft uh, Excel out of the box. So based on what you're trying to do, if you're looking for an inventory or a profit loss statement, there are some templates in here. Essentially, to use these templates, you just double click on it. It's going to download the template. Um, and then you go in here and use this template to kind of customize as a, as a basis and, and you kind of customize your information. You go back to the file and new menu. Uh, you'll notice here that there's a search uh, box here, and this will give you the, um, the ability to go in and search for templates that are currently on office.com. Uh, this is a repository of, of, uh, of templates for you to, to go in there and look based off what you need. They have them categorized here, some suggested searches. Uh, so again, if there's nothing, if you don't see what you need here, you can go out there and search. It'll return um, uh, some suggested templates and you can use those. Uh, for this particular purpose though, we're going to just create a blank workbook because we're going to look at uh, some, some some themes and applying themes and how to use apply some backgrounds. So if you go to your page layout, you'll notice over here in the themes uh, section here, there's a 
um, a series of, of again, out of the box themes, look and feel of, of, uh, you know, your, your, your workbook, uh, look and feel of, of your, how you, you can have this all, all formatted. So, um, essentially what you can do is you can select a specific theme and you can apply, you know, to those, uh, to those themes. You can, again, you can customize it by specifying colors. Uh, apply those themes uh, appropriately uh, to your to your workbook. Uh, so you know again, it's just a it's just a a, a working um, paintbrush, I guess, if you will, of uh, just basically going in there and, and uh, giving the the look and feel of your document. Uh, so again, if you go in there and, and put in some data, uh, you want to change the you know the, the look and feel of it. Go ahead and use these these themes. Uh, the theme functionality is also familiar in um, your Microsoft PowerPoint. You notice some of the PowerPoint um, presentations that I've, I've gone ahead and created. Those have a standard look and feel. Those come from a template or a theme uh, that is that has been created. Um, and again, you can go in here and create your your data. Um, And apply those those themes in here. In addition to applying a theme, you can create a background image. Uh, a background image is essentially just um, uh, an image file that gets put into um, you know the background of your uh, of your document. Um, so you go into uh, in the page setup group on the page layout, you click background, and it's going to load some pictures in here um, for you to uh, select from to create a background for uh, for you. So I'm going to select the file. I'm going to go to my documents. Going to find my folder where all my files are in here, and again, you can select. I'm going to select a map, so I click Insert, and what that does is that essentially creates a background image, and I, I can again go in here and continue to add in my my elements, my data into my worksheet um, to go ahead and, and uh, customize uh, customize my uh, uh, my my workbook. Uh, we want to talk about cell styles here as well. So a cell style again is just a collection of formatting uh, format settings based on a currently selected theme that helps provide that consistent look and feel. Uh, you can go in and you can create a custom style. Uh, so if we want to create a custom style for this first field in here, uh, we're going to go to the Home tab and we're going to go to Styles. And click the in the style styles group. We're going to click cell styles. Um, you can go in here and click new cell new cell style. You give the cell style a name. So we're going to call this header. New header. Okay. And it will give you uh, the options in which you can go ahead and uh, have your style include alignment. Um, Font, you can uh, again check or uncheck that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lock it. Let's go to format here and you click on format and it will give you uh, again the ability to go in here and just uh, specify how you want your style uh, to look. I'm going to select just some random. I'm going to select some random settings here for this particular style and click OK. Now if I go back and highlight my... If I go back here and highlight my two columns that I want these styles to get applied, uh, I'll notice that my 
my custom style is available, then it applies that, that cell style. So again, you can create uh, your own specific styles if you don't like any of the styles that are currently available here. Um, again, you can use uh, Microsoft Excel to kind of create those custom styles. So again, there's a very quick overview of what is a template, um, where, you, where you can find templates within Microsoft Excel. Uh, it gives you the ability to go in there and kind of create some themes, uh, use themes within uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, we also looked at how to add a background image uh, to, our, to our worksheet, to our document. Um, as well as uh, applying and creating a custom style. So again, if I don't like how that how that looks, I can go ahead and select a different style. But again, it just kind of apply, applies that that look and feel. Uh, so this particular video, we'll go ahead and get you squared away for the on-hand exercise one part of your assignment, and uh, I'll be back with uh, follow-up on uh, the uh, uh, this particular um, video and in that second video. Uh, we're going to take a look at some of the other uh, functionality that, that uh, we can um, do with our workbooks in terms of creating custom templates and work, uh, workbook uh, protection. So again, if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to email me at ryan.free at ppcc.edu.